torch. Mm -hmm. Painful. Yeah, that's for sure a pain. It's impressive in terms of rebirth. All the people that I, all the IDs that I thought they would rebirth into, the most popular I've seen so far in top eight have been Kim and Quetzal. Quetzal, yeah. Which is crazy. Those are quality picks. Yeah, that's like really uh, good. you would expect Wizard, yeah. but because of the toolbox nature of rebirth, like you don't it's do so that, cool. yeah, yeah, unless yeah. you need to. Kim is just big game. Quetzal allows him to get through when he's like under. Uh, when he doesn't have the Corroder on board. Flying against Blue Sun, it's pretty good too. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Undoubtedly, especially with the E3. Yes, it's, it goes a very, yeah. very far. How are you going to make your money? Oh, it's bad. There you go. Oh, and so, uh, we actually have a nice situation here. I mean, I'm from Ottawa, so I think it's nice. It's, it's <laughs> we've got Ottawa already in the finals. Yeah. Top two. I'm fine with this And result. we have uh, Jerome from Montreal, Montreal. and uh, Toronto. Dean's representing yes, here in the finals. Is. So this we got really, National. it's a tri-city to the bottle, <laughs> or to the bottle right here, yeah. And this this really could be a preview of Canadian Nationals. Very I mean, I these guys are- I see these guys top eight. They're all Canadian great players Nationals. in their scene. They're all super consistent. I mean, yes. you have mm. some people that are swingy, but not these guys. These mm. guys always perform well every time they go. Although I think Jerome said he can't make it to the Nationals. But mm. anyways, yeah. we'll definitely see Dean there. We'll definitely see uh, Alex there. And uh, it's gonna be great. So uh, if we look at the, the matchups here, you can see how the brackets have gone. So uh, we got just one more. We got Alex is already set for the finals there. Uh, and uh, there we go. Hanny's giving out the Hanny's prizes out to, uh, Kessel Bucks. to yep. third and fourth. Uh, so we actually have that, though. So we've got Eric is now our fourth place finisher. Mm -hmm. So he uh, had a great day. Yeah, I mean, he, he played game. a lot of casual games. You gotta love the. Uh, uh, yeah, I was able to play Agricola with him. That was uh, a lot of fun. The, the, the IDs so we, and that. We just went today. I think I won more board, board games than Netrunner games. It's, <laughs> Congrats. Uh, Congrats. What, did you, what did you play today? Uh, we played <laughs> Netrunner. The Android Infiltration is like, pretty good. I actually like that a lot. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we played that. We played uh, Tokaido. Yes. Uh, we played a couple games of that. I like it. Pretty pleasant. Yeah. There you go. Uh, All right. it, it, that's a great word to describe yeah. to Kaido. It is a pleasant, pleasant yeah. game. I mean, hot tubs, painting. Yeah. Just taking time to enjoy Observing the world. The Vista. All right. So we're going to just take a quick break, and we will be right back with commentary for the uh, second, third place match. All right. Thanks for uh, joining us, guys. We hope you like it. Sorry if mics are in people's faces. Uh, <laughs> We're still working on it. Uh, you know, it's not a professional setup, but uh, we love you guys. Uh, we you're, love selling, you're selling yourself. Hey, there we go. You, so, uh, uh, we'll really be right fun, back. So uh, here we are with uh, our media darling. We were just talking about this. Uh, you guys just can't get enough of Eric. The demand is there. I swear it is. <laughs> the demand? Oh, yeah. yeah. All, your, all yeah. your YouTube comments. <laughs> yes. I, I saw Eric is on the right. So, I mean, he, yes. well, yeah, yeah. now he's, he's, he's everywhere. He's on the right. Uh, so tell us about your build. I was particularly very interested to know about your Valencia False Echo yeah. and kind of how that... Uh, originated and the testing you did with it and yeah. uh, Jerome is playing a very similar build yes we have one card difference actually I uh. think between me and Jerome so uh, me and Jerome are we, we work the two of us together to build to build decks yes and 
this deck was direct response to the meta. So we knew that we wanted a deck that can be good against oh, for the video, yeah. Gagarin, against Nierhurt, against Sink, and yep. against Palana. So we're trying to figure out what could be the best Something one. that has game against all of those cards. Yes, so with when you're playing False Echo mm -hmm. and also Blackmail, you're threatening everywhere. Yes. And that's the strength the, the that's the strength of the deck. Uh, there's Vamp, yep. so you threaten Vamp HQ against Polano. Yes. Yeah, uh, you also R and D triple medium. Yeah. So they don't have enough upgrades to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. So, so it's a lot of pressure and multi access until you uh, as uh, as long as you can. And with nine uh, nine blackmails with the three deja vu and uh, three same old thing, that's uh, yeah, that's usually enough. As you, um, it also has the incidental benefit of. Uh, kind of running camouflage with both Alex and Dean, bringing uh, more traditional Valencia builds. Yes. Uh, where players often, I, I know when I played Jerome, I respected his cards as if he were playing that good stuff Val build. Uh, what do you find yourself rebirthing into? And especially against uh, most matchups, I see Kim coming out. I see Quetzal on occasion. Yeah. Are those the two mains? Okay. Um... No, the the main one is probably Wizard yes. because of uh, Wizard or Kim because of the multi access. It depends on the matchup. Mm. Um, the second the second one will yeah uh, Wizard Kim. Uh, it's pretty much these two. I've actually used Reina once. Interesting. And even Noise when after post vamp perhaps. Yeah 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 yeah, yeah for Reina. So, uh, yeah. To just deny them and yeah. And Noise if you're fully locked out you yes. can just uh, go for variants, install viruses, run archives. Yeah yeah. Deja vu, oh. pick two viruses, <laughs> install them, and yeah, yeah whatever. And just go for broke. Yeah. That's great. That's an excellent toolbox available via Rebirth. Yeah. Uh, we don't see many. Uh, in the Eastern Canada meta, uh, many degenerate asset spam decks. We don't see uh, the Gagarin build. We don't see the IG builds. Okay. In fact, uh, did many of those? Did any of those get into top eight this time around? No, no? and that's super surprising mm -hmm. because that's the reason uh, everybody was thinking. Okay, we have to play Wizard. Yes. Then, no, let's not play Wizard. Let's play <laughs> something else because people will know that we'll play Wizard. Wizard yeah, that Wizard and, is a big choice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it's all about the meta. It, but Indeed. that's that's fun of the game. It's uh, I really like discussing about meta, like mm -hmm. playing online and uh, reading, uh, yeah. uh, reading and watching videos and everything, yeah. spectating people. All well and good. Um, is there any way to kind of prevent like the? Uh, sabotage and chicanery where like people scout each other's decks and like kind of know especially for a deck like yours your Polana build is very reliant on the element or not very reliant of course sorry but it's very it's aided in victory by the element of surprise in how bellicose it is and how uh attempting to kill yeah that it is uh, people run expecting like a uh, kind of analogous to the RP builds that were popular yeah, a couple yeah. of years ago, and then they find themselves hitting shocks and snares and feedles. Feedles, yeah. Yeah. Um. But like, does do you think that there's any way that we can kind of uh, have the interesting meta experience where we have the uh, the person who makes the good deck call is the one who does well in the tournament without uh, while still promoting uh, an atmosphere of sharing and of uh, cooperation with each other yeah that, that's a really good question because the more you talk about the deck the more it will be known and people will be ready to play against it okay like today if i would have knew what would happen i will play with clone retirement <laughs> and that's my one regret uh, uh, yeah there thank you, go. you very much yes. yeah. great run good thank you the that's medicals I... that we don't oh, know hey eh? yes. the yeah. more you know yeah. Knowledge is power. All right, so we're going to transition over. Thank you so much for that. You can send uh, Andre back in here. We'll get, uh, we'll get him to join us for the game. I'm going to unmute the table here. And uh, we are back to action. And so, they're right in the thick of it, looks like. So we got uh, Val and we got Plana. And we are going to just give you the people what you want to see which is not us, so <laughs> let me find. So Eric gave uh, Dean the old what for earlier on in the top eight, uh, first round. Uh, Dean did not know what to expect and he got false echoed into oblivion. Uh, now that he knows that Jerome is running a very similar list, uh, we'll see how he plays differently. 
but this is still an uphill battle for Polana, don't you think? Oh my god, I honestly don't know how you win against this deck. Yeah. Like, there's very little you can do. So this is a, a false echo a DDoS deck. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that you install a bunch of mediums and then you just go nuts on R&D. Now, normally your protection is that we'll put some upgrades on R&D. That's mm -hmm. a good, very good thing Planet can do. But you lead this in with a vamp. Yeah. So you have to protect HQ, you have to protect R&D, you have to have more money than them. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you can res your ice, you're in a really good spot. You're in a really good, but if you can res your ice. Yes. I think the best counter to this sort of deck is all Wayland stuff, which is not something you're gonna see all the time. No. And that's usually uh, executive boot camp or firing an accelerated beta test. That'll probably close the game, but you still have to deal with blackmail and remotes. Yeah. It's still uh, hard. Maybe that informed Jerome's decision to play HB with all of that good stuff that you just mentioned. He really likes Chiefs. Mm. He really likes Chiefs. So this is going to be super interesting. This is not like much else I've seen. Uh, and so we're going to see how fast he can rush. From what I understand, the way, what Jerome said his advice to, to was it to you or it to was, Dean? Yeah. Well, he said the only way you can win is to rush. Yes. You're uh, not going to be able to protect your servers. Slap the Caprice on the remote Go. and just hope for Psy to come your way. Yeah. And there is a uh, Nisei in hand. Uh, mm -hmm. That actually could be a winning strategy. Yeah. Uh, we're looking like a pretty good start for Dean. Uh, it depends on how the size swing. Yeah, size is a big deal. But there we go. That's a medium. Mm. You have to respect that. Oh, man. Uh, DDoS into medium well, might not do that much work, but it's still something. And he knows that Dean's Polania doesn't have uh, many teeth. In fact, None. any teeth. Wow. That's that, right? Yeah. Well, there's baddies. Sure. Oh, and one snare. And one snare, okay. Yes. Single snare is good. Philotic actually could uh, sneak out a victory at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a voter intimidation. Clones are not people is probably my favorite part of this deck. Yes. That you can feign that you're only going to score six points, which is a weird thing to feign. Sure. But that you can suddenly jump to seven for very little effort. For very little effort, yeah. yeah. Super cool. Uh, another good thing about this deck is that it does run two little engine. Which is something that does a lot of work against David. It does a lot of work against most Anarch builds. Yeah, that's a good pick. Uh, I don't know if it's going to do anything in this matchup. I don't think so. But uh, there's that rush server that we talked about. That's mm. uh, very smart. It remains to be seen whether or not he can pull all the ice. Well, uh, Jerome's not drawing. Jerome uh, doesn't have his wild set yet. No, here, oh, here it comes. Hits the table. Too soon. There yep. we go. Uh, Jerome doesn't believe in alt arts. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. That's, uh, I don't know what that's about either. Uh, <laughs> Maybe if it's, all it's of money. his sleeves He's got a, he's got he's got a feed his obsession there. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. So that's so, a rush. Yeah. That is the Caprice. That's a Nisei in that server. Nisei, Nisei, yeah. And scoring the first Nisei is a big deal. And uh, both of them have a fair amount of cash. Yep. So I think this just comes down to player proclivities. We'll see how this goes. So no matter what, uh, you can't run R&D. If Ice gets res in R&D, most of the game plan is over. Yeah. So you can't just put that medium and poke just no. to make money being spent. Sadly. If you charge that server too, also you're in a bad spot. Because mm -hmm. you can't blackmail anymore. And this deck is not good at breaking things. And he has only three clicks. Yeah. So single Faust in the deck, that's the only ice breaking card in the whole deck. Yeah. Does he contest? No, you can't. I think he just Oh wait, he's not even playing DDoS, is he? Oh yeah, he is. Yes, yeah. yeah okay, there okay. it is. Yep. <laughs> that answers that question. That yeah. that. Big game, because uh now do you score out in Deed's position? Uh, you definitely do. Yeah. You still have to rush. Mm -hmm. uh, ignore R and D. A mm -hmm. lot of your stuff is gonna be safe enough. Yep. Yeah. Uh and that Nisei counter is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is where I think the Montreal players brought the better Metacall deck, uh, Polana build, because uh, Jerome can freely go aggro knowing that there's only the one snare. Really. Yeah, that's uh, true. He can just dig medium if he wants to. Uh, the, the best thing, though, even if you run two, three snares, is that I don't think Jerome is going to do anything until he DDoS vamps. Mm. Because if you have three credits, you have zero credits, obviously you can't fire the snare. No, and you sure. can see whatever you want. Yeah. Um, the good thing about Polana, though, is they do recover pretty quickly from loss of money on mm -hmm. the basis that you'll generally get one credit per turn. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerome does not have room for an employee strike. So this money is going to come in all the time. Where is his inf going? His influence is three clone chips, yep. two false echoes, mm -hmm. one parasite in case something gets rest, and of course a rebirth. <laughs> false echo. There we go. Dean knows what he has wow. to do. Wow. Yeah, here it is. That pressure. Yep. So early game, He's, yeah, he yeah. doesn't want to give him time to establish. He's got the uh, wild side out there without, fifth, yeah, without the pancakes. Without the pancakes. And so fifth, this is really yeah. a chance. 50 is a fairly fat stack. Like, he might be the case that he just has no blackmail in hand, yeah. and then he can't contest that server whatsoever. But even that Caprice with an added Nisei token is basically yeah. two one and threes. You have to win in a row, For let sure. alone two blackmails. Mm -hmm. There's no way he's going to be able to break ice. No, especially with only three clicks. Yeah. 
no clot as well. Uh, not that that's gonna matter. Actually, no, there is a clot, but again, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. It's gonna be quite interesting. And clot is, of course, a concession you make to fast advance. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, we're only seeing... Double Nisei. Two, double rough. Nisei counters. If you can get a food in there, you're basically it's over. good to it's, go. Yeah, good game, uh, right? Money's the only problem. If you can land a vamp, that server's actually not that good. DDoS into vamp right now might be clutch. I don't know what the money numbers look like. Yes. Uh, Jerome always puts all his money in one pile. Mm-hmm. Uh, but DDoS into vamp gets stopped by one Nisei. Uh, exactly, yeah? yeah. You're right. Yeah, so that's not actually that good. Uh, also, things with Street Peddler are very interesting in this build. I never liked Street Peddler in Val because you can lose a lot of your a clutch, lot of good clutch uh, yeah, operations. Uh, you events, lose your rebirth, yeah. you lose your vamp. That's indeed, indeed. kind of a problem. Blackmails, that's yeah. not good. But here comes the table. Table's what you need at this point. Yep. Uh, he's running a server, it looks like. Yeah, you can only get three accesses at this oh, point. Yeah, here comes a uh, medium. Okay. Three no cards hit. coming off. Well, we do have two scrubbers, so we can yeah. dig a bit deep. Okay, we're seeing first. Wow, he's just coming in hard on He knows what he has to do. This yes. is his only chance. Yes. Okay. And uh, Dean didn't even have to use any of his Nisei counters. He though. did. And I don't think you would preemptively I don't think, use yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He wants to save it yeah. for when it really matters. We I can't mean, see, we you can't can see afford Dean's to lose mitt, something. But he probably has, exactly. He had to There it is. In. There it is. Oh, no. Nice. Oh. Yep, yep. And which explains why he didn't bat an eyelash and even consider uh, using the Nisei counter. So Dean needs three credits to score that. If you run that remote, you might get some reses. He's at 11 currently. 11 credits. Yeah. So uh, I think you have to charge that. Mm. Uh, you could medium dig, maybe run through R&D, get a res on that, see what you can see. Mm. If you turntable, IHW. it's not actually that good. He's running out of time. Two clicks left. He's that's looking for it. blackmail. This is the fastest I've seen Planet go. Yeah. And I mean, that's beautiful. He's got the two stop that counters. That was start. Absolutely. He yeah, can force the punishment of running through the server time yeah. and again. And for all we know, there's a Caprice in there. Yeah, I just think to add is. insult, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, he's given it away with that playmat right I, there. He doesn't. He doesn't <laughs> waste time putting out the baddie. I think. Not. Not in this he match. Might. Oh, you have to. Bang! All right. And and run. Good yeah. game. There you go. Oh, so you that go. was so a nice quick brutal. match. Oh, and that's brutal. Montreal in the top eight. Oops. Brutal. Brutal. That he did exactly what he needed to do. Yeah, that's Absolutely. exactly what he needed. If the game goes any longer than that, oh, he put he did put the baddie in. Is it just a baddie? Oh, and a Caprice. Oh, Caprice, oh the first yeah. one was just a baddie. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it. he gambled that he didn't have the blackmail. He, he didn't get blackmailed, and he just went for it after that. That deck can't break ice. No, it, it really just has to go for the big dig, and that's yeah. gone really. It's done a lot of work today. That was really excellent play from Dean, where yes. he sniffed out to see if uh, Jerome had the blackmail. Yeah. And then just, just go for yeah, it. Yeah, just went accordingly. That's it. And I don't think there were like there weren't player. I mean, it's not really. He had a really good drop. It's not Jerome's fault. He no, lost really, no. and that, that's hard to yeah. hard to see. So we're gonna pop over here. So this is our actual final match. So the amazing thing here is uh, Dean's actually fought his way from losing his first match all the way through the lower bracket final and now he's headed up in the winners it's mm. double m so he has to win twice in a row so dean was like you know i'm gonna take the most grueling path possible <laughs> yeah it's like i didn't play enough uh with all those yeah, ids going on uh and there we go but we're actually gonna bring a uh, good game we're gonna bring you in here for an exit interview hey do you wanna do you wanna actually interview jerome sure yeah so we're gonna have uh jerome take a seat <laughs> And we're gonna pop on over. So uh, here we go. So tell us about the match. <laughs> that was that was rough, man. You played I, as well as you could, really. Yeah, I didn't see a blackmail at all. Uh, I didn't see vamp. I just needed something to to stop him. But uh, I think he knew from his previous games. He knew uh, what he had to do. He you knew could he, tell. Yeah, exactly. Because he, really cause he played against Eric before, and he yeah. lost to Eric. Because you and Eric are playing this. We have the exact same deck same... except for one card, which doesn't matter. It's Trope versus Daily Cast. Okay. Um, but he knew what to do. Yeah, you, you can really tell. Yeah, exactly. um, so normally, how long does it take you to fire that ridiculous dig combo? Is it a matter? It's of... usually not too bad. I actually just ended up getting a lot of money and not any of the. I didn't see any false echo. Yeah. Uh, I needed to use the DDoS to try to turn table away his. Uh, the Nisei, Nisei, counters, yes. Nisei counter, yeah. I thought the only way you were going to get out of that was to play Vamp, but with the Nisei Yes, score, exactly. That's why I played, brutal. I've had Doris to draw for the Vamp, right? Right, right, but then, but then two Nisei's. Yeah, exactly, he has two Nisei's, yeah. so I couldn't do anything. 
Oh, that's absolutely stunning. Um, do you normally think Flyers is a good matchup if they don't like they no, have to play I, exactly? Yeah, that? they have to. They have to hope that I have a like that. Valencia has a bad draw. Yeah, uh, and that they can rush out perfectly. Like right. he had, he had Everything enough money. Hand. He had uh, is the agendas that he needed yeah. in the order that he needed. Uh, he that's needed it. to have enough ice on on everywhere. He he knew that he had to put ice on his remote and just ignore the other two and just try to race me. Yeah. So he he played it really smart. That's it. Uh, I think and it's we usually... saw you trying to get in there with your turntable to yeah, to, to get rid of one of those Nisei, Nisei, Nisei counters. Nisei, Nisei counter, yeah. But you know, I think that's... you don't always hit it. Yeah, exactly. I was hoping to get the vamp, but at some point, but yeah, I had enough money, I guess. Uh, uh, so for those at home who are watching this that uh, have seen the deck in the last couple games, that that sort of uh, about the alert, not the alert, but about. DDoS, all yes, deck. Echo. What do you recommend that against? What's it the really strong matchups it has, and why did you bring it to this meta? Um, it's actually very strong against Palana, in my yeah. opinion. Um, I think it's probably something like 80-20 for, oh, really? for the Legend. Maybe even, maybe even more than that. Uh, it's really good against all the decks that tech against Wizard. Okay. So like uh, Sync, um, yeah, any 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 decks that aren't playing asset stuff, but then I'm, I'm also playing Rebirth with two Scrubbers. Right. So I can also beat uh, like G Gagarin and Ig. And Hot tubs isn't yeah. a problem, do you think? Exactly. I'm, I'm I'm not really scared of any deck uh, okay. other than like Surat City Grid Just... Bioroid. Oh, that one's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Do it. That's like, everything. Yeah, yeah. There's no yeah. way. There's no way this deck yeah. can beat that. So that's a really good counter. Um, you might have noticed in in stream that I played a. Uh, Executive bootcamp too in my in my HB deck. Yeah, yeah, right. That's actually because I was really fearing. Echo oh, that's, that's a really good yeah. battle count. So that's, that's one way to beat it with yeah. one influence. Did you and Eric end up playing at any point today? Uh, we did. Yeah. Oh, that happened in the top eight, right? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, uh, fantastic. That's yeah. uh, super exciting. Uh, really well played. Yeah. Uh, you gone real far. Uh, we coming to the next. Do we have another. Yeah. I'll probably come. Uh, I'll probably come next week. Excellent. So well, there you go. Yeah. So for those of you in the area, Montreal. Uh, yeah. where, where's the venue? So the venue is at a store called uh, the Gamer Vault, uh, and this is a new venue that they just opened. It's a, a much bigger store. It's a bit. It's obviously in a different location, but I'm totally excited to see the place. There you go. All right. Well, thank you again. Yeah. Thank you. You did good. <laughs> I, I'm sure you're gonna go watch the match too. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So we are gonna just hop on over to those guys. Uh, you had a great day. I mean, you got to play some Netrunner in the end. Yeah. Exactly. So that that's good. Uh, <laughs> it's Okaido's fun too. Huh? It was it was a very it was a very uh, scant amount of Netrunner played by uh, by Jerome today, but uh, that's how it works. So we are now going to uh, just step out for one second here, while we let the guys set up, and we will be right back. Thank you.